buddy of mine on Instagram, Tace, this to me, with a few other um, uh, shaving creams for me to try out. So, morning everybody, Cap here, and today's going to be an Arco day. Arco for men. This is extra fresh. Good buddy of mine on Instagram, Tace, sent this to me, with a few other um, uh, shaving creams for me to try out. So, today is going to be it. I'm uh, going to be using my WSP Monarch. I'm going to start the shave off with Oscar's Oil Sandalwood. I done got to using this stuff and I really like it. Uh, some mornings I'll put it on right out of the shower and then just kind of let it soak in. Then wet my face and do like usual. And I have to apologize because a lot of times I forget to put it in my Shave of the day picks. Got a great sandalwood smell on it. It does come off your hands pretty easy. Uh, I was gonna go ahead and show y'all how I load up my brush. This is the first time I didn't even, well, I did a kind of a sample just to smell it. But I just, about an almond size. That's about it. It's got a good extra fresh scent. Alright, let's see. When I hand lathered it, I didn't do it very long. I'm just trying to get the scent of it and see how slick it is. Felt really slick. Hope everybody's having a good day. I've had one busy week. Derailed motors <laughs> in a plant, which that means um, <clears throat> the engine wheels come off the track. They got a big hook to get back on. I didn't know this, but this cream has a uh, menthol in it. Huh. Wow. Got a good, I don't know, just fresh scent to it. It's not really like the Arco soap, nothing like it. Kind of like a, more like a subtle dove soap or something like that. Then I'm using my 1950s Super Speed. And this has a, uh, had to fix my stuff. This has no date code. So it was made somewhere in the 50s. And it's got a good solid feel. I like the knurling on it. And this is my favorite Super Speed. I don't know why I don't use it more. Well, this is, in fact, the only super speed I really like. Um, I got the Bosch Cod in it. I think this is the fifth or sixth day. Pretty good slickness. And glide. I don't know if I... I might be confusing. 
glide with cushion or comfort, but uh, slickness to me is how good even, you know, just your finger runs across it. And then glide to me is how smoothly the blade runs through the hairs. Some soaps might have good slickness, but not good glide. Whereas, I think that pre-shave oil has a lot, of, a lot to do. Since I've been using that pre-shave oil, it seems like my, my post-shaves are even better. This cream has a really good, uh, menthol feel to it. I think Tay said it was like three bucks. You can't beat that. Especially if you're like going out of town or, or if you just want to try something. Run out of Parasso Green. Want to try something different. This is a this is pretty good. Thinking about tomorrow, shaving the mustache off. I got a uh, new, the eagle has flown in, as they say. Let's see, I'm just gonna do two pass. Great cushion. This is a good soap and a cream. But I got my razor from uh, Dylan Fretz today at Fretz Work. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you'll be seeing pictures of it tonight. And so I was thinking, since it is a wedge, a wade and butcher wedge, could be shaving the mustache tomorrow. I, I don't know. But I think I might grow my goatee out after I shave it off. Which I doubt a lot of y'all have seen me without any facial hair. Oh, it's, I look like a baby. Great. That's a great feeling soap for cream. I know when I used to go on the road, I would sit there and worry myself about what soap to carry, but why not just pick up something like this and go with my other two that I got from him is two Old Spice, the lime and then the musk. And the musk, I'm really excited about using. And I'm gonna use both of them next week after tomorrow shave. Let me get, uh, let me get washed up. I got everything cleaned up and I did not know this had menthol in it. I hadn't read on it or anything. In fact, my some of them fine prints I can't even read even with my glasses on. But I'm gonna throw on some snake bite before I put on my aftershave. Just because. Get that feeling to keep on going and I'll have to tell you about some things. I love this snake bite. You can throw it on anything before anything and it's got this good just great menthol feel it's great for the hair mm. and you talking about the menthol it will make your eyes burn the very first time you use it, it made my eyes just burn like crazy and then for hours after i use it right here is a real cool sensation 
from the thing. Okay, so let's uh, let's get a few things. These are my new overalls, Roundhouse. Uh, if you're looking for American-made overall, you got Pointer, which is LC King, or these Roundhouse, and these seem like they run a little bit uh, for on the thinner side for the uh, thinner people. LC King is more full fitting, uh, so these fit just a little bit better. I, I like them. I like them. Uh, so this is a uh, you're the first people to see this. This is my Wade and Butcher Dylan Fretz with the rainbow scales. This is a beauty. I want to see a wedge. That's a wedge with a barber's notch. This thing is so sharp. I can't wait to use it tomorrow. I was going to use it today, but I'd already had my pictures taken. You know how that is. Once you got your pictures taken, you got to dedicate yourself. But let's put on this. This is my wife's favorite Barbersaw. This is dry. And Barbersaw doesn't have much alcohol or menthol in it. So. It's good to throw in a little snake bite on it. It's just a good old fashioned scent. My face is red from that snake bite. <laughs> but I'll have pictures up here later. Uh, I highly recommend this stuff. This is good. I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, I'm going to start keeping this. I like the menthol. Didn't know it was menthol. It has a very, very subtle, I don't know if eucalyptus is the scent. Well, it's not. It's more of just a, a clean, uh, fresh scent. Kind of like palm olive, but on a lighter side. Um, and it's got that cooling sensation of the menthol. This would be, this is a great cream. I'm very impressed. And it's for men, not for women. I wonder if they make a women's line. That's the first thing my wife would ask. If you haven't tried one of these, get the 50s uh, Super Speed. It's uh, This one's all beat up. It's not the prettiest. I got this at an antique store, I believe. And uh, there's no date codes, anything like that. I don't believe this has a date code. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all have a wonderful day, and I will see y'all tomorrow.